Hi, in this tutorial we are going to talk about the second structure of the protein. As we have discussed in regular lectures that there are the two different type of proteins. One type of proteins are globular while the second type of proteins are transmembrane. The globular proteins are present in a cytoplasm and the transmembrane proteins are present in a lipid bilayer. The algorithms which are going to be used for the prediction of global protein second structure cannot be used for the prediction of second structure in transmembrane protein due to some obvious reasons. And we have discussed these reasons in detail in our regular lectures. Right now we are going to use the GORE 4 algorithm for the prediction of second structure. Now, to get an access of the tool which is going to use the GORE 4 algorithm for the prediction of a second structure, we will write down in a Google GORE 4 for the protein second structure tool and then this second link which we are going to have, we will click on this one. When we will click on this one, then we will land to the next page which is dedicated for this GORE algorithm. In this box, we will paste our amino acid sequence for which we want to make a second structure prediction. So let's assume that this is a amino acid sequence in a FASTA format. So we will copy it and we will paste it here in this box. Then simply we will click on this start prediction button. When we will click on the start prediction button, after a few moments we will have the result for our submitted protein sequence. Here you can see the results and this, the, these results will be in a graphical form and as well as in a text tabular form. Let's first try to understand the graphical uh, representation of the results. In this graphical representation, you can see the two different type of the peaks. One type of the peaks are blue in color, while the second type of peaks are red in color. While well, you can also see the some regions where there is no peak, peaks are present. Let's try to understand what these peaks are telling us. The blue peaks are letting us know about the beta sheets, while the red peaks are letting us know about the helix. Now the regions where we are not going to have any peak, these regions are uh, and the loop or the coil regions in our protein structure. Now here on the uh, y-axis you can see the scores. Now these scores are present in a negative and as well as in a positive having a threshold of the zero. So if we are going to have a score above the zero threshold it means that in this region a specific stru second structure is going to be formed. For example here in this first region we are going to have a blue peak having a threshold score above zero. So this region is going to make a beta sheet. While in the next region, we are going to have a score above the threshold zero having a red peak. And this red peak is telling us that this region is going to make uh, alpha helix. In this region, we are not going to have any peak having a threshold above than zero. So it means that this region is going to make the loops. The same information is present down here in a tabular textual form. In the first column is letting you know about the number of amino acid. The second column is telling you about the type of amino acid. The third, fourth, fifth and the sixth columns are the scores which are calculated for their possible occurrence in, uh, in a secondary structure confirmation. And the last column is telling us about the confirmation in which these amino acids will be present. Here you will find out the three different alphabets C, E and H. The C stands for the coils and the loops, the E stands for the sheet, beta sheets and the S stands for the helix. So by looking at this tabular information, we could have an idea that which amino acids will be present in a helical conformation, while which amino acids will be present present in a beta sheet and which amino acid will be present in a coils. We hope so that this information will be, uh, in, uh, will be good for you for the prediction of a second structure in case of a globular protein. Let me uh, recall it here once again that this algorithm cannot be used for the prediction of second structure in case of a transmembrane protein. Please stay with us to get an idea about the second structure prediction in case of a transmembrane protein.